Well, thanks for sticking around with us as it gets colder in South Mississippi. Many people are really looking forward to eating more of one of their favorite coastal dishes, the scumbo. Yeah, Most Holy Trinity Church, Catholic Church in Pass Christi is inviting you out to the third annual gumbo festival this weekend. And festival organizer Sean Niekase, along with owner of Cajun Kick and last year's winner Brandon Niekase. They're here with some gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It already smells yes. good. <laughs> yeah, it smells great. You got chicken and sausage, right? And then seafood gumbo. That's right. Okay, great, great. And Brandon, you won last year, right? I did. I won first in People's Choice and Judge's Choice. So oh, wow. You took home I was, everything. Uh, I was mandated to come back this year. <laughs> I enjoyed it last year, so I'm very happy to be back. Awesome. Sure. Now, what's the secret to getting first? You don't have to go into detail with your recipe, but you say you use your you Use Cajun kick. Okay. <laughs> now, what's the kick to it? <laughs> Uh, using it. Okay. I mean, that's, uh, I use my flour that is already pre-made, so I use no additional seasoning with it. Now use that kind of helps like the base of the roux, That's right? the roux. Okay. I mean, that's, a roux is how your gumbo is going to taste. Oh, right. So if you mess your roux up, your gumbo is going to be messed yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. I agree. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, is there a secret to how long you cook the roux or can you divulge there, that information? There's no secret because everyone does it different. Yeah. There's so many ways to do it. But the way I do it, I got a 36 inch flat top, which people go crazy watching me do it. Uh, Cause roux is supposed to be made in a pot like this. Uh -huh. I make it on a flat top, but I'm normally making four pounds of roux at a time. Uh -huh. So it's a lot easier, a lot quicker, and it just tastes so much better. Right, so how many teams are gonna be competing? Now? So, so far we've got 15 competitors. Um, so they're gonna start Saturday at one o'clock. So we advise everybody to get there 12, 1230 so you can get your wristband. It's $10 for you to try every single competitor, but you also get a drink with it. Um, but we have bands and DJs nonstop all weekend that you'll be able to enjoy the music, eat some gumbo and stay warm. Yeah, well, you can't beat that. It seems like the best way to bring people together in South Mississippi is good food, but ultimately for a good cause, right? Mm -hmm. So we're um, fundraising for the youth of our church. So our church has CYO programs, CCD, instructors, college students that want to do mission trips. And so we're raising as much money as we possibly can every single year based off our gumbo festival. So they'll have an opportunity to expand their, uh, their faith in Christianity. Okay, awesome. awesome. And I think that they got us some gumbo. I was going to say, did it? you serve that up for us? Uh, just, just for y'all. Okay, <laughs> awesome. And which one yeah. do you want, Jennifer? It doesn't matter. I'll take this one. Okay, Are I'll they both the chicken and sausage? This one's chicken this and uh, okay. sausage, and that one's seafood. I got okay. you. Here. Okay. I already ate two bowls. Well, I think we got two spoons. <laughs> yeah, so. so we can try both. <laughs> Hold on. That's very good. It is very good. good. Okay. And I don't tell everybody's gumbo is really good. <laughs> no, it, it's really good. Okay, I'm going to try the seafood. And I'm not an okra lover, but you can't go wrong with okra in your gumbo. Okay. Seafood's definitely my favorite out of the two. I think I'm just a shrimp person. Yeah. You can't beat seafood. Like a yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Okay. Not too bad. I'm more of the traditional girl with yeah. the seafood gumbo. <laughs> so make sure y'all get out and come try it. Yeah, that's really great. Good. That's great. So you said 15 competitors. Are you accepting any more? Or yes, we are stuff? constantly accepting some. Um, you can reach some of our chairmen, the Daigles mm -hmm. is what we call. Just give us a call. We'll get you connected with them. Um, but also our, we have bands nonstop uh, from 5 to 11. We have two bands, Sons of a Beach and Junior Lacrosse. And then on Saturday we have bands, uh, a live DJ, uh, Ronnie Hammonds, and then um, Stars Band and Shay Ladner also. Oh. So, but we also have obstacle courses. We got games for the kids, 50-50 Ralph. Everything. And 40 plus vendors and over six food trucks. All so right, we are loaded great. out. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Thank you for having thank us. You. All right.